Hugo Chavez, adored by many as a hero, was born in 1954, the second son of humble village school teachers. After studying at the military academy in Caracas, he went to Simon Bolivar University. Then his career began as a soldier. But in 1992, at the head of the Bolivarian revolutionary movement he had created, he tried to overthrow President Carlos Perez. This failure cost him two years in prison. On his way to jail, he said he was simply bowing out until later. To popular acclaim after his release in 1998 at the head of his new socialist political party, the Fifth Republic Movement, he ran for president and won comfortably. With overwhelming approval in a referendum in 1999, he had the 1961 constitution rewritten. He was heartily re-elected in 2000, but as the economy suffered when oil prices plummeted the following year, Chavez now experienced a blip of unpopularity. Opponents would continue to accuse him of running Venezuela as a dictatorship, further pointing to his controversial international friends such as Ahmadinejad, Gaddafi and Castro. Western rights groups both praised Chavez for his social programs and accused him of abuses such as political discrimination and limiting freedom of expression. When he won the presidency again last year, saying little about his cancer, nearly half the country had voted for the rival candidate. Then Chavez announced he needed more health treatment in Cuba. He left right-hand man Nicolas Maduro as his surrogate, asking his government, his party and the army to back him in case he didn't come back at the head of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela to perpetuate his anti-capitalist ideology. Just what impact will the passing of Hugo Chavez have on U.S.-Venezuelan relations? To answer that is Diana Villas Negroponte, a political analyst who focuses on Latin America. Hugo Chavez was not a friend of the United States. He enjoyed playing us. He enjoyed treating us as an imperial power. But when your competitor goes down, you recognize that he was an extraordinary man. For us, it means that the election campaign, which the Constitution now requires, must be fair. That the opposition and other candidates vying for the presidency should be able to compete in this campaign on an even basis, which means that each party has its appropriate time on the media and that the governing party does not monopolize media time, leaving the opposition fragments. So a fair campaign is what the United States will ask for. Despite the country's oil reserves, many Venezuelans live in shanty towns. Unemployment is rife, and around 60% of the population is described as poor. The country today is going through a very serious economic crisis. There are shortages of everything and the shelves of stores. Little rice, little milk, little coffee. Medicines are in shortage. Spare parts for machinery, electronics, furniture. It's all in short supply. So Venezuelans know that there is a serious problem that they have to confront and that Chavez's successor will have to remedy. And that's going to be very difficult because for the last few years, Chavez has just used the benefit of the oil company, the national oil company, PDVSA, as a convenient money bag to distribute favors to his supporters. That time's run out, and now the Venezuelan people have to face and to pay the piper. Chavistas claim that his nationalization of the oil sector has helped the poor to benefit from the trickle-down from export revenues. A populist leader needs some unifying themes around which his followers can gather. Anti-imperialism, anti-Americanism was convenient to them. Whether the successor will continue that is not certain principally because Venezuelan oil is sold to U.S. refineries. Venezuela needs, believe it or not, food that it purchases from the United States. So strong relations with 
U.S. investors and U.S. companies is essential for Venezuela to get out of its economic crisis. We can deal with a certain amount of rhetoric, but at one time, you've got to be realistic. And I would argue that post-Chavez, a dose of realism would do well for Venezuela.